What's going on YouTube and all my Forex fiends out there? Corey Smith here with CoreFX bringing you yet another weekly technical talk video. Today is May 13th, 2018, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to any of you mothers out there. Anybody tuning into these videos for the first time, thank you. I appreciate you stopping by. Make sure you watch the whole video. I'm going to go over a full in-depth technical analysis breakdown of all the US dollar major cross pairs as well as many other pairs that I have on my watch list for the week ahead. I'm a trend trader, so I'll be looking for some nice trending pairs, making some pullbacks, looking for places to get into these trends at ideal price levels. To all my returning visitors, thank you very much for the support. I really appreciate you guys staying tuned to these videos, sharing your comments, sharing your feelings. Um, if you guys do like these videos, please feel free to throw a comment. Uh, if you don't like the videos as well, if you want something to be covered, or if you want me to uh, share analysis on something or even ideas for future videos, feel free to throw a comment. Reach out to me at Corey at CoreFXTrading.com, C-O-R-E-Y. Please feel free to reach out, guys. I love hearing from you all. I love creating content you guys want to see. So please feel free to reach out. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I hope you show some value in them. I'm going to go ahead now and switch over to the charts. I'm going to dive into what I'm seeing this week and how we can try to take advantage of some of the market moves and make some money in these Forex markets. Thank you guys, and I'll catch you on the charts. All right, guys, so I wanted to start off today's uh, technical analysis video going over the stock markets, uh, equity markets in the U.S. specifically with the S&P 500. We had a very significant break of structure this past week. Um, as you can see on this chart here, we have been in a bullish pennant pattern on the S&P 500 for the uh, S&P 500 is the major stock index in the United States, top 500 stocks. Um, so we have been in this bullish pennant pattern. I told you guys a break of this level is going to be significant. This translates directly into the Forex markets, risk on, risk off, growth currencies, all that stuff on um, the fundamental side of things, but very significant break to the upside now. Um, I do expect this bull run to continue. Should have some momentum and some strength. The 20 is about to cross above the 50 for the first time in a while. As you can see, the 20 has been trading below the 50. It's about to cross above. The 200 has been acting as this support. Price has been bouncing nicely off it every time we've seen it. So I do expect this pair to now, I mean this uh, index to now push higher. And that is something we want to be watching in the Forex markets. This could send the yen for another leg lower. Um, CAD continues strong. Maybe we get Aussie New Zealand strength, but we'll see. I just want to start off with going over the S&P 500 because we had a very significant break with this trend line break here and a uh, break of this pattern. All right, now starting with the US dollar on the dollar cross majors. Um, you can see here with this very strong bearish push lower, we did have structure change. We set this lower low. As you guys know, we are in this bull pennant. I told you we were looking for a break to either side. We broke to the downside very strong. Moved all the way down to the 118 level here. Uh, broke right through the 200-day SMA. Moved lower. But as you can see, when we zoom in here, we did get a morning star formation. We got a bearish candle lower. Spinning top formation, followed by bullish engulfing. This is a reversal pattern. Although I do think bearish... And this downtrend is the outlook more medium term for this pair. In the shorter term, I think we can get a little more of a rally. I'd like to see us come up and retest this 200-day SMA. Uh, that would be a nice point to then look to get short again on this pair and ride it back down for the next leg lower, as I do think that we have seen a significant enough trend reversal that I'm looking for this pair to now reverse to the downside. Pound dollar. Um, another pretty similar setup. We were in a nice uptrend. We broke this first trend line, moved lower. The moving averages crossed over, came down, broke the second significant trend line pretty much without any hesitation, came down and now have been held off by the 200-day moving average. You guys can see this is a very, very significant level on most charts. So 200-day moving average is something you should have on your charts if you don't already. Um, price has hit it here. We've got a lot of indecision candles, upper and lower wicks, small body closes, so there is definitely some consolidation building up. There's definitely a breakout looking to occur on the pound dollar. We do have some pound news this week, so that could happen. We could get a rounding bottom here and maybe break up to the upside, or we could just get a breakout to the bottom of this uh, rectangle consolidation pattern. Um, I do think we might get a little bit of a bounce before it falls off, but again, 
we could very easily just fall off like a rock and continue moving lower. When you get a nice momentum push like this and then consolidation, you'd like to look for another push like that in the same direction as uh, that's where price action's looking and leading us to. Dollar CAD, very ugly chart. Um, we had this strong bullish move. We were in this consolidation. We were looking for a breakout, broke out to the upside very nicely, as you can see with this arrow marked here, but then immediately reversed and now broke to the downside of that range that we were stuck in. So we had an outside reversal here. Um, momentum does look like we will continue lower, maybe come back to retest this trend line at the 200 SMA. Um, we have a bearish engulfing followed by another bearish momentum candle. So I do think this will continue the downside, but definitely not looking for any trades as that chart's not showing anything clear enough. Dollar yen, um, we broke this downtrend line and structure with this move here. This was a nice significant confirmation to us that trend had reversed with this higher high. We've now been in a high base, setting a higher low. Um, we look like we could have been forming a double top formation here off this resistance, which is also a supply zone and 200 day moving average. Um, but we did close Friday with a doji and decision candle. So we'll have to wait and see where price action leads us with this pair. But we are getting some mixed signals. On the four hour, you can see this double top a little bit better. We got an M formation double top. Still respecting this trend line. Did bounce off the trend line, so we'll have to wait and see. But um, another pair that technically could look nice and could have some good setups. Especially if we get a bounce here and break higher. Maybe we look to enter a pullback retest the 200 SMA 110 level um, in the end in the coming week or so. But uh, another one to keep an eye on in a nice trending, uh, early trend reversal, bullish trend stage. Dollar Swiss franc has just been ripping out of control. As you can see with all these bullish moves higher, hit the 10, uh, 100 a dollar parity level, very significant psychological resistance. Did actually break through it, but has now pulled back off of it. Uh, hit the dollar and five. Um, resistance and has pulled back a little bit just barely breaking prior structure but has pulled back if you take it to a lower time frames you can see this little bit of a rounding top that i'm talking about this is a reversal pattern so we could see a potential pullback reversal we would like to see some more mean reversion as you can see we're very extended extended from the moving averages prices pushed up very high so maybe we get a pullback maybe even as deep as down here to 99 um, before we bottom out and then continue that uptrend but uh, we do remain bullish. This is very technically in an uptrend. We just need to wait for better opportunities to get into the trend. We don't want to chase price. We don't want to get in when price is too overextended like this and get in too late on the move. So what we do is wait for that move to correct and give us a good opportunity to um, join the trend at a better price. Moving on from there, we have the Australian dollar, US dollar. Uh, again, this pair has been in a nice downtrend as well. Price made strong move lower, lower high, lower low. We are in a lower high. We did close with a shooting star candle off of a strong zone. Um, but I'm not too convinced right now. This hasn't been too clean and clear of moves lower. I do want to wait and see a little bit more what the dollar does too. Before I get into this, I am a little bit bearish for the dollar to start the week. So I don't want to get into a short here and go long the dollar. Um, so I'm not trading this pair at the moment, but I am watching it. We are at a nice downtrend still. Structure is moving nicely and the moving averages all look good. Beautiful spacing and placement. 20, 50, 200, that is the exact order you want it to be in in a downtrend. And there's nice spacing between them. So technically it does look like a beautiful downtrend. Just waiting for the proper setup for us. Moving on from the Aussie dollar, we got New Zealand dollar. Similar looking chart. We got the 20 just crossed the 200, 20 crossed below the 50. They're all sloping downwards now. Uh, we did have a very strong rejection wick last Thursday from this pair. As you can see, the dollar pushed it all the way down to here. New Zealand was weak all the way down to around this 69 level, and then it did bounce um, back up. So we are getting some uh, rejection signs in this downtrend at a very significant level. So another pair here, I want to wait for a better opportunity. Maybe we get a little bit of a rally up here. Um, we look for a better shorting opportunity around the 70, 50 to 70 area in this zone. And then maybe presents us a good opportunity to get in short and ride this, uh, back down to the downside at a better opportunity. All right. So that covers all the dollar crosses. Um, switching it over to the dollar index real quick to show you guys what we're seeing there. You can see this downtrend has been broken 20 crossed above the 50 SMA price broke above the 200. 
we uh, had this nice, strong, bearish, I mean, bullish leg higher reversing this bear trend out of this bear pennant. And as you guys can see, we had a uh, evening star formation on this pattern, on this uh, chart. We had a bullish candle up, and we had a spinning top rejection indecision candle, and then we had a bearish engulfing off. So I do think there's a little bit more of a pullback in the dollar. I'm very bullish on the dollar technically, but I do think we can get a little more of a pullback. I think we could ride it back down to the 200 SMA before we then push to make our next leg higher. Um, but again, we develop these biases. We keep an eye on the markets, what they're doing, and we are always ready to change and adapt if price action acts differently than our bias. So um, this could very easily just push higher and continue ripping. But um, I will be looking for a little bit of a softer dollar opening. Gold, um, I have some requests to analyze this, and you guys know these, these markups have been here for quite some time now. It has stayed in this range, hasn't left this range, started to look like it was going to hit the 200 SMA, bounced. So um, I am still watching this range. With that being said, with the um, equity markets doing good, as I showed you guys, this is another um, inverse relationship gold has with the S&P 500, as gold is a safe haven asset. You can see this, this level price has reacted to in the past. We had a tweezer top formation off of this level. Moving average crossover, rejection off the 20 SMA. Um, so that being said, this does look more bearish than anything to me. But again, as long as we're in this range, it's really hard to predict any significant move out of this pair, um, out of this, this gold analysis. So uh, really just up to your guys' trading plans and routines and um, seeing if your plan matches up with the analysis on this chart. However, I, I, I do, I would say that I am leaning more towards a bearish sentiment than bullish if I was to uh, give an analysis of this pair. I would say it looks like it could be breaking out to the downside. So taking to my watch list now, moving on from the Euro, Euro's dollar pairs. Um, first going to be watching uh, Euro Yen. Um, again, this is playing on a strong Yen, so it depends on what's going on with the currency. But we had a nice bearish move lower here all the way down price hit support and has now bounced for about three days i think we maybe can come up and tap the 30 uh 382 fibonacci level here maybe we get a daily reversal candle close on monday or tuesday out of this pair and then uh we look for shorts to the downside to get in at a good time to ride this trend um for the next leg lower as you guys can see we are in a downtrend below all the moving averages, 20 sloping lower. Um, we broke structure, set a nice strong lower low. 20 looks like it's gonna cross the 50 soon. So uh, technically speaking, this isn't a downtrend and we are looking to get short, just wanna get in at the right time at the right level. Um, taking us over to pound CAD. Uh, before that, I'll stop at pound Aussie. Um, as you guys know, this was on my Instagram. This was something that we went over in my student chat. So this was a, a setup that I was showing and watching a lot. This was beautiful price action. Broke out of this um, upward bullish rectangle pattern. Broke structure, broke moving averages, broke the trend, made a new lower low to the downside, as you can see marked here. Pulled back to set a lower high right on the Fibonacci level of this strong lower low uh, push here, right on this very nice market structure level. Um, support turn resistance also psychological 182 level and we got this nice shooting star candle rejecting the 20 sma price looked very ready to roll over and that's exactly what price did taking it down to the lower time frame you can see um you know break of this counter trend line was a nice place to enter and it did run away perfectly right to our target so uh, just wanted to go over that trade with you guys the outcome of it and uh came right back down to this moving to this uh trend line and is now closed Friday with a very small indecision candle. So um, that was a nice trade, and we'll see where this pair ends up going from here. But pound CAD, um, this is a nice trending pair. We broke structure and broke trend with these lower lows and lower highs. We had a nice lower low push here, getting a little bit of a bounce. I'd like to see a little bit more of a bounce. Look to get short around the 740, 74.50, the 75 range. Somewhere's in here, I'd like to see a bounce up into here 
find resistance, show us that we're ready to roll over again, and then make the next lower low move. Maybe we come down to the 200-day moving average before we see where price is going again from there. Um, but pound CAD, something watching. CAD was the strongest pair of last week. I do think the CAD is going to perform nicely. We had bad news, and CAD still reacts strong. So um, that is a good sign for us. Price action-wise, when price action's moving pair, regardless of what fundamentals and news is saying, that's a good sign that uh, we want to continue to be watching that bias. So strong CAD is going to continue to be something I anticipate watching. Euro CAD, similar setup. Price is in a nice downtrend, lower low, lower high, lower low. Hit this 200 SMA, um, a little bit of a morning star. Hit this strong trend line. So I do think this bullish engulfing will lead to more of a bounce. I'd like to see it come up to this 154-ish range, find resistance, get in a nice short opportunity there, and maybe we break this trend line and move lower um, off of a strong bounce rally um, and continuation. So we'll keep an eye on this pair. Again, a lot of these watch lists are for a few days out, um, not trading Sunday nights, not really trading Monday mornings either. So I uh, develop these watch lists for later on in the week for these setups to have some time to develop and uh, potentially show us a trade opportunity. So that's Euro CAD, Euro Aussie I have also that I'm watching. As you guys know, I was watching for longs in here, but price did break lower. We broke this first daily trend line nearing the second one. Um, we are seeing a break of structure, lower low being made, breaking this significant 159-ish uh, support that was holding here. So we are watching this. Maybe we'll get a more of a push lower and then pull back. I would like to look for something like this for us to trade. I'd like to get more confirmation that there's some momentum to the downside. Maybe then we bounce, retest this broken trend line, broken structure, and then we look to get short for this next leg lower. Um, so I like catching the early moves on trends, getting in when they're strong and starting. Um, sometimes they're not an actual trend reversal and it's just a pullback and the setup doesn't occur or get stopped out, but that's part of the game. So that is something I will be watching as well for this pair. Aussie New Zealand. As you guys can see, we had a strong um, break of direction with this higher high, higher low, very strong momentum high made here. When you have a very strong momentum candle like that, that shows a lot of buyers came into the market. There's a lot of buying presence. So what we want to do now is wait for a little bit of a correction, wait for a little bit of a pullback, wait for some um, profit taking and find an opportunity to get back into that momentum at a discounted rate and catch the next push higher and hopefully ride that next leg. So this is another pair that I'll be watching to the upside. We are hitting a little bit of a um, trend line resistance here, so we could see a bounce off that before we then find support and continue higher. But I do like this this momentum that we have with this reversal here on the Aussie New Zealand. Aussie CAD's another one. As you guys know, I like the strong CAD. So if we're seeing a weak Aussie, I'd like to see a little bit more of a rally here. We're in a nice strong downtrend. Um, 20 sloping lower, 50 sloping lower, 200 sloping lower. The 50 is about to cross under the 200, which is a very significant death cross, they call it in the stock market. It's very significant um, happening with the 50 crossing the 200 as they're longer period moving averages, and they don't cross too often when they do. It's usually a good sign, technically. So uh, they're about to cross to the downside. I'd like to look for shorting opportunities here, look for a little bit more of a rally, and then try to get in this pair short to get to the next leg lower as well. New Zealand CAD. Another one, similar setup. We're in a nice strong downtrend now. Price broke the 200 SMA, pulled back, retested it nicely with this um, shooting star close here, and then price sold off hard. So now what we'll be looking for is, um, this is what we were looking for last week, and that's pretty much exactly what happened. Now we are looking for the similar setup to happen again this week. We're looking for a bounce now off of this support we've hit. Rally, get in short. As you can see, looking left, this is a nice demand area that price has now come into. So we'll see if price reacts to this level, gets a little bit of a bounce, then we want to see it find resistance and then hop on that trend continuation trade to ride this lower for the next leg. Um, and then we also have CAD Swiss franc. Again, still looking for a strong CAD. We did come up to a res uh, nice supply level up here. Price immediately bounced off. We got a little bit of a bearish engulfing, not quite fully engulfing, kind of like, um, railroad cross i mean railroad tracks um but this does show some bearish pressure coming into the market to this level so maybe we pull back a little more let the moving averages catch up a little bit more and then look for a nice long opportunity to the upside 
to get back into this move with a uh, you know strong trend direction. All right, guys. So that pretty much covers my watch list for the week here. Um, good luck, everybody trading this week. If you have any ideas you want to throw my way, feel free to shoot them over. Throw a comment on the video. You guys know how to reach me, hopefully. If not, um, check it out in my bio. Check out my Instagram, core.fx. Check out my, throw an email my way if you want, corey at corefxtrading.com, C-O-R-E-Y. Um, check out all the videos on, on the page here. Make sure you tune into these videos weekly as I will go over this market analysis every week. Give you guys an idea of what I'm seeing in the markets, what I'm looking for. All right, guys, thank you very much for staying tuned to these videos. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you all have a great trading week, and I'll catch you in the next one.